This story is called The Modern Movie Making in Memphis Racist Fraud. In 1929, MGM produced the black musical movie Hallelujah in Memphis. In 1984, Canon Films produced the movie Making the Great in Memphis. From the humble African-American community of Orange Mound, the first community in America built for blacks by blacks, Indy Memphis was born. In 1987, Anthony F. Elmore, a Memphis-born five-time world karate kickboxing champion who had never walked on a film set or taken a film course, began production of Memphis first independent 35 millimeter feature film title the contemporary gladiator the question that we must ask the city of memphis the county of shelby and we must ask memphis shelby county film commissioner lynn settler and the memphis shelby county film commission board does memphis first independent 35 millimeter feature film be included or categorized as modern movie making in Memphis. The modern movie making in Memphis historical record marker reads, quote, on this South Main Street corner in 1988, the modern wave of Memphis movie making was born. Please Google the words Anthony Elmore, L.A. Times. What comes up in the archives is the LA Times headline reads, Films Going Into Production, The Contemporary Gladiator, Shooting in Memphis, Anthony Elmore stars, directs, and produces a comedy drama about his own ascent to the pinnacles of the kickboxing world. Also stars George Young, Miriam Jones, and Julius Dorsey. This is the LA Times, November the 22nd, 1987. Now, the sign reads, The modern wave of Memphis movie making was born in great measure through the efforts of Memphis and Shelby County Commissioner Lynn Sittler and Shelby County Government Official Alonzo Woods. The question that we must ask, who is Alonzo Woods and what does he have to do with filmmaking? We want Lynn Settler to answer this question. This is the tragedy of this issue. Anthony F. Elmore is a black man who had the courage, heart, and determination to become Memphis' first independent feature filmmaker. Now, what we have in Memphis, Tennessee is a racist, shameless, white supremacist Memphis, Shelby County Film Commission culture that refused to look Lynn Sittler in the face and say, your sign is a fraud. What we have is a white racist sign, whereas they do not want to recognize the fact that a proud and dedicated black man is Memphis' first independent feature filmmaker. We have a culture of white and black people who are complicit to robbing the history and accomplishments of African Americans. While that sign shamelessly honors Lynn Settler and Alonzo Woods, the modern movie making and Memphis sign is racist white supremacist and a fraud. We asked Memphis attorney Alan Wade and the defendants to acknowledge that Lynn Sittler's modern movie making marker that excludes the black film and Anthony Elmore is a fraud and discrimination. We asked that Lynn Sittler Lynn Sittler's sign be disposed and the sign be installed in the right place of Orange Mound, inclusive of Memphis first independent feature filmmaker Anthony Alf Elmore and Memphis black film making history. Attorney Alan Wade, 
this is a question we ask the defendants in the Memphis and Shelby County board, film board, to dispose of that sign and put the sign in its rightful place, inclusive of Memphis Black film, history, and culture.